So sh should I try to quickly summarize? And you want to add? Yes, add yes. I got it. You'll recollect this. No, I should <laughs> do it if I can. But so I started by talking about how democracy represents uh, humility in the system of governance. And then you, you said that that's what we had in India because there was knowledge at the top and at the bottom. Whether it is like epics like Ramayana being rendered in vernacular languages or even knowledge based working knowledge of astronomy and other meteorology and other things. She was there with the experts and the common people. So this democratization of knowledge, which can say, which you can say represents power. This was there in various fields, systems of governance, but also they were distributed. So every village was self-sufficient and every village had its, even within village, each community, they had their own hierarchy, they had their own hierarchy and people could rise and succeed and get their own sense of identity there. So the king, there was capitalism in the sense that the kings had power, but the king's power was not in making laws which apply for everyone, but preserving laws which were defined by different people according to their particular local systems or local customs. So we had, we could say almost like left values at the bottom level and right values at the top level. And the idea of taking individual responsibility, the beautiful point you said that our limitations are temporary, but our potentials are, are our own. They are lasting because at the core, we are souls. So with this understanding, there is the assertion of the individual, the dignity of the individual was also a part of not just something that came in Judeo Christian tradition, but it was there in our tradition also. And that's how we have, when great saintly people were targeted and victimized, then they didn't expect some rescuer to come, but they withstood it. And they themselves uh, rose to glory. And whenever there was, because power was decentralized, whenever there was, whenever there was abuse of power also, it was more of an individual abusing power rather than a whole system uh, exploiting someone. And that's why we have the works of the persecuted saints also available as a legacy today. It's not wiped out. And we discussed elaborately about the caste system. So the caste system is pursued as discriminatory, but within each caste also people had their dignity. And like you said that Guha was a king, although he was in one sense outcast. Nanda Maharaj was a king. So they, 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 they were, there says Manu says that every Varna should be independent and people had their respect. So to some extent, the imposition of an external definition of success leads to the perception the caste system was very discriminatory, but the caste system gave autonomy for people to succeed along different channels. And to the extent there was discrimination, we discussed especially against those who were handling say human, human refuse, human excreta. So that was unfortunate, but even that was not to that great extent because the systems of sanitation were different in the past. And that is also exaggerated as far as then whatever discrimination is there, that's a universal human evil that every country and every civilization is prone to. So we can't uh, label a civilization as bad. We can look at the bad in the civilization and see how it can be rectified. And there was a tradition of reform quite actively in India also, whenever caste discrimination came up. And then we compared, say with respect to the left and the right. So the left, uh, the left has become very influential. And you said the left can be more violent than even terrorists because it's very sub subtle and sophisticated. So they put family members against family members, see family as a system of tyranny or nation as a state system of tyranny religion as a system of tyranny and in replacing that they themselves centralize power. So quite often uh, the left starts with uh, love for the poor, but it ends up with hatred for the wealthy and mm -hmm. something that is driven by hatred that cannot really uh, solve any problems that will only aggravate problems. And even if some people are virtuous within that and they really redistribute wealth and redistribute things well, but they'll be replaced by someone else who will be tyrannical. So in that sense, distributing or evoking individuals to grow by taking responsibility. That's the way forward. And then we discuss why has the left become so powerful? One major reason is they had a long-term vision by which they penetrated the centers of influence. 
the universities, the media, and uh, we as a, the dharmic traditions, we could say the right, focused more on the visible centers of piety like temples. And there was also the separation of the priesthood from scholarship. And so that's why when now the younger generation, as they go into the education system, they may have some faith which they got from their, as you said, right wing. They have right, right wing faith, but they have left wing values or psychologically they are like that. And that becomes very disruptive. So the way ahead will be that we see there are internet Hindus who are coming up and there are people from the STEM fields who are now awakening and trying to understand and share their dharma. And also we as individuals, we understand that the battle between good and evil is eternal. And we have to play our part in that. And if we keep playing our part, not with the goal of eliminating evil, we don't, we don't, it's not like violence to destroy, but we want to have justice so that there is a fair representation of things. So if we do our part, then Krishna has a plan and Krishna will use us in his plan in the way that he sees fit. And then the last point, more important than charismatic gurus are saying, rational presentation of spirituality from the top to the bottom, hierarchically, or, or not hierarchically, but systematically, that rationality can be per, taught and then that can actually uh, lead to some overall change in society.